Hi there, I'm Matt Katz. I head up corporate finance at Buzzacott. I help entrepreneurial businesses raise money, make acquisitions, and ultimately sell themselves. So the type of businesses that I work with are predominantly entrepreneurial businesses with a profit of between 250,000 and four to five million pounds. I often work with them, helping them raise money. For example, one of the businesses I'm working with at the moment is a wine merchant's business where I've been helping them raise one and a half million pounds for a management buyout. I, I spoke, the type of businesses that I love to meet are those run by entrepreneurs who've got a passion, who, who really believe in what they're doing. But, but more importantly than that, it's a great business model, it's scalable, it can generate a lot of money and it can be a very profitable, successful business over a period of time. So in corporate finance, I'm working in a rapidly changing market and there's lots of new funds, new opportunities coming on every day. Um, my job is to try and stay abreast of all the changes in the market, not necessarily to be a specialist in each individual area, but to make sure that when a client comes to me and they need a certain form of finance, I can find them a solution. One, one of the pieces of advice I give to many clients is be aware of disruptive technologies. Many of the managers and owners that I, I work with and help along their journeys are, are very comfortable making the money that they're making, but they're not open and they're not aware of changes in their marketplace. I see it all the time because I see new business plans coming through and I see new entrepreneurs doing new things in the same markets and therefore I'm very wary for for those owner managers who've got more established, stable businesses that, that when hopefully I come to try and sell them in the future, that they've still got a, an established, decent business with a good level of profitability. So some companies come to me which I'm just not able to help immediately. And part of what we at Buzzacott do is we help those businesses. We get them sort out the, the numbers in the background, we help them with their bookkeeping, we help them with their management accounts. So when they need to raise finance, they're well prepared and they can do it in an efficient and easy manner. Keith Miller, I'm a senior finance manager with GLE One London. If um, organisations and funds such as GLE weren't around, businesses are always going to have to go to the places they know best, which is going to be the, the high street banks. Um, but we see ourselves as not being a, a rival to the, those banks. In fact, we're, we're their friends, because if they're not able to support businesses, invariably they will, may make a referral to us. Um, if we can support that business, the business wins because they get the funding that they need. The bank wins because we're not going to take the relationship away from them and ultimately the money that we invest in that business goes back into the business bank account so the bank has further investment for the, the client through themselves. I'm seeing the market uh, being uh, having a far greater enthusiasm uh, for borrowing from the, the likes of ourselves because we've got businesses that perhaps, uh, as I would put it, they batten down the hatches um, over the, the, the period of the recession. But the last couple of years, uh, they, they've had more economic growth, the businesses have been more successful. They're then looking to invest in themselves. They, they need some outside in investment, but they're going to the bankers, and unfortunately, because there hasn't been that level of profit retention within the business, perhaps the business owner has, has been taking the money out to, to fund his own sort of lifestyle during that period. Um, the, the balance sheet hasn't got sufficient in it for a business to get the funding that they need and therefore the banks aren't being very supportive at present. And whilst we are hearing positives that the banks are supporting businesses, I tend to feel that we're actually seeing um, or reaping some of the benefit from that because businesses are coming to us because they're not getting still, unfortunately, the funding through the banks and we can step into the breach and help them. So my name is Darren Mulvihill, I'm a business development manager at Crowdcube. Uh, at Crowdcube we're the UK's leading investment platform and we allow members of the public, uh, angels and other investors to invest in new and growing businesses alongside professional investors such as venture capitalists, angel investors and institutional investors. So one of the things that we've realised with crowdfunding is that obviously it's a great mechanism for raising investment for your business. One of the other things that it's really useful for is finding a band of people, a group of people, a group of fans that will ultimately 
be loyal to your business, will understand and be interested in its success, um, and that will shout about it and become an ambassador for your product and hopefully be a repeat customer and maybe even a repeat investor in the business as it grows and develops over time. So it's a great way of raising finance, but it's also a great way of cultivating a new community, getting a new group of customers, and hopefully accelerating the growth of the business in a very short space of time. So one of the other advantages of raising from the crowd is the ability to build a relationship with a very large group of people over time that are very diverse in their skills, in their competencies, and in their ability to help you with any challenges that the business might face. So be it a case of sending an update out to your investor base of hundreds of people every month, over time they will begin to understand the challenges that you have and you never know who they might know or who they might even be and their ability to actually come in and make a real tangible difference in the business when it matters most. So the crowd can be very actually interesting and from that point of view and it's very important not to underestimate you know, their ability to actually to provide practical help. I'm Charlie Johnston from ECI, a uh, UK private equity investor in businesses valued between 20 and 150 million. In terms of uh, where's the UK private equity industry or global private equity industry going at the moment, um, to a certain extent it's great times for private equity. Fundraising has been very strong. We raised a fund last year, 500 million, lots of people are raising capital. Um, there's a huge amount of capital, there's a lot of people chasing opportunity. And whilst in countries like the UK we've had a big growth in SMEs, they're on the same volume of that. Those, those companies seeking private equity is the amount of capital. That creates its challenges. What's going to happen next? Um, I think we're going to see returns coming down for some funds. A lot of funds like ourselves have invested heavily in our ability to add value. And I think you know, the next cycle of private equity is going to see a, probably a bigger washout than the last cycle, which is, quite, I think, quite ironic given the, the big crash we had during the last cycle. Actually, we didn't have much of a washout. I think now we're really going to see who can really add value to those businesses they invest in from this cycle onwards.